power inverters have changed significantly since the last one that I purchased. Let's talk about this one. This is the Anglink DX200 power inverter. Now what makes this very interesting to me is just a lot of the things that it does. It is a 200 watt power inverter. You plug it into your car. It gives you two full size 110 outlets, two USB ports, and another cigarette lighter outlet for your car. And you can see all of that here on the back. It's a three in one 200 watt DC to AC power inverter. Converts 12 volt DC power from your vehicle to 110 AC outlet. It powers devices rated up to 200 watts. You've got two three prong outlets, two 2.4 amp USB ports, one 12 volt port, so you don't actually lose the port, and a three foot power cord. So this will definitely be useful for those family car trips. Editing on the road and whatnot while my wife drives. But just diving into the box, of course you've got this little guide here. Gives you information about its intended usage. Some tech specs there you're more than welcome to pause the video and take a look at. Warnings about not overloading it and how to use it and everything like that how it'll overheat and shut down if you do too much with it. I don't intend to plug a hairdryer into it or anything, so it should be okay. You also get a little baggie with what appears to be a fuse and a couple of screws in case you want to install this and if anything goes wrong. And then of course the unit itself. A little piece of plastic on this part. There we go. So there's your branding, Anglink 200 watt power inverter, your two AC outlets, your two USB ports, this little mounting bracket on the bottom, that's where those screws would go. You put this in your car, screw it into place, and then you can just slide this in place to keep it nice and snug and safe. Information here on the bottom as well about inputs and outputs. And then last but not least here on this other side, your other 12 volt DC input. And you know what? I cannot do another thing with this here inside the house. I'm gonna have to actually take it out to the car to finish the video. Alrighty, out in the car with the Anglink power inverter. Let's go ahead and get it plugged in. Now you can see very bright blue LED here bright blue LED around the ring over here. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it's it's actually making a little bit of a buzzing noise. If I had to guess, it's just that's just the noise it's supposed to be making. I've actually heard that one coming out of my previous inverter I've used. But at this point, let me go ahead, I'll plug in my laptop adapter and we'll see if that works. We'll check the ports. And you probably can't see it over there because of the depth of field, but the light is on on the MacBook Pro charger. It is charging appropriately. I don't see any sort of errors or warnings or anything popping up about voltage. I don't think there would be on the laptop, but I'm just not seeing any, so let's unplug it. Very, very tight. Just hasn't been used much, of course. Plug in the other one. Light goes green and then orange, so it is charging appropriately in the second port as well. I didn't bring two laptops out with me to plug in at the moment, but supposedly this is a 200 watt, so you should be able to plug two in at the same time with potentially up to 100 watt power supplies each, and they should work just fine. While we've got this plugged in though, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the iPad Pro and we'll try to charge it and we'll see how much amperage it draws. And if you can see that, it says it's doing five volts at two amps, and the other port is doing about five volts at two amps. So yeah, at this point, I'm able to charge my laptop and charge an iPad Pro off this one device and technically I still have another plug here and just to go ahead and test it out I've gone ahead and brought out uh, another DC input so I've got this cigarette lighter outlet thing plugged a USB cable into it and as it does say there it is charging my phone so as expected you can use this additional outlet to plug in more USB ports or whatever you want to put into it my only real concern with this at this point is just the noise that it's making but like I said I've had other inverters in the past and they do make a similar electrical buzz type noise it's never hurt anything in my experience it is charging appropriately and after just a few minutes maybe 10 minutes or so it does not appear to be getting hot and like I said I'm charging a MacBook Pro on it so I'm gonna go ahead and just give this thing a thumbs up my initial impressions of it I like the build quality and the amount of ports it offers I like the fact that you can mount it in the car if that's something that you're into and I like the fact you don't end up losing your 12 volt input you get a spare one as a result so all in all for the price I see it for over on Amazon it's about $21 right now retail price is about 30 I think this is absolutely a steal so I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to where you can pick one of these up if you're interested boy that blue LED is really bright some electrical tape over that might do wonders but let me know what you think about this yourself down in the comment section below leave a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to receive more when they become available and I will see you again next time.